Jackie died, Les Prince says she was strapped for cash and forced to sell scores of personal items for a fraction of what they were really worth. These designer dresses once belonged to Whitney Houston until she was forced to sell them because she was so strapped for cash. In 2007, Whitney put hundreds of her famous custom-made stage outfits on the auction block. There were even 13 Dolce & Gabbana bustiers. One harsh headline read, Relics of Whitney's Blown Life. Whitney Houston has gone through some pretty rough times lately. It was an embarrassing time for Whitney. She just finished a stint in rehab filed for divorce from Bobby Brown and almost lost her estate in New Jersey because she owed more than one million dollars on taxes and the mortgage. She also owed two hundred thousand dollars in back rent to this storage warehouse. The auction was a last-ditch effort to pay the bill by selling the belongings she had stored inside. Considering her fame and beauty, the auctioning off of Whitney's designer clothes was anything but a glamorous affair. It took place in this warehouse in the gritty town of Irvington, New Jersey, not far from Newark. Did this stuff bring in a lot of money? Uh, average price between five hundred and thousand dollars. The most valuable item in the auction was this see-through grand concert piano worth a reported four hundred thousand dollars, but it sold for only twelve thousand dollars. A sign of Whitney's diminished star power at the time. Deborah Burke of Connecticut bought 50 of the outfits to sell on her website, AntiqueDress.com. Many sat in her closet, unsold for years. But since Whitney's death, people can't get enough of memorabilia, and all but three have now been sold. It took her passing away for this feeding frenzy to happen, and, uh, and they all went within the 24 hours. Sparkly relics of a time when Whitney was a star on top of the world.